Hi guys, this is Thunder E from Board of Work and welcome to our unboxing of the HTC Desire 816. The last time we saw this device, Sam was doing a hands-on at Mobile World Congress, so we have it in-house here. So let's take a look at what we have inside. So the HTC Desire 816 is uh, HTC's mid-range uh, smartphone. Uh, this is available in the in the, in the Asian market, especially China. Now, it comes in a um, LTE as well as 3G variants. This is the LTE variant here. And it's a dual SIM device. Uh, comes with a 5.5 inch HD display. Now, the packaging is now reminiscent of what we have for standard HTC packaging. Much thinner frame. You have the Desire 816 in the front and tells you what else is in the device. Let's open this up. Set aside, and that is our 816 right there. Let's pull this up, set that aside for now. See what else comes in the packaging. So we have um, some instruction stuff in Chinese as well as in uh, English here. Instead of w WCDMA SIM or SIM card, uh, you can insert a GSM Nano SIM or SIM into slot 2. Uh, so slot 2, we take a nano SIM or SIM, and uh, you just have to basically cut that. Some user agreements, more information, all that fun stuff, which we don't need. Comes with a standard HTC uh, international charger plug, which we are not going to use because we can't use that. And it comes with a pair of headphones, uh, basic, and of course, micro USB cable. So nothing too flashy there in terms of package content. Now, let's go ahead and open up our device. Let's see which is the best way. Actually, we could just slide it out. That's much easier to do. So here is the Desire um, 816. The display is a 5.5 inch display, 720p display. You can see the speaker grills on the top. Now the front facing camera is a five megapixel front facing camera. It's an all plastic build, but you can see how thin the bezel is on, on the sides. So it's a very small bezel area. Now if we pan around to the back, uh, you have the HTC logo and then it has a 13 megapixel shooter. So we know the M8 has a four ultra pixel uh, shooter. This is a 13 megapixel shooter with flash. And then the very top is where you have your 3.5 mm jack. Now if we bank around to the side, we do have some ports here, which let's see if we can actually open these. There we go. So here we have our micro SD expansion slot, which um, can go up to 128 gigabytes. Now you have eight gigabytes of storage in the device and you have your SIM card slot. So if you see here, it says um, WG and then 2G. So this is your SD card, SIM one and SIM two um, right there. And we'll pop in a SIM card. And then, of course, here is the uh, micro USB port for charging. Now, the back of the device cannot be opened, so you can actually open it. Uh, but it feels uh, feels fairly comfortable. It's a little bit slippery on the back. It's a glossy plastic at the back of the device. And uh, your power button and your volume rock are on the left-hand side. So all the controls on the left-hand side of the device. So actually, we'll power this device on. And let's see what language. Now, it says powered by Android, which, you know, is standard with most... Android devices now, especially 4.4.2. In terms of internal specs, this is running a quad-core Snapdragon 400 processor. So this is, uh, uh, it's the same processor you find in something like the, um, uh, the Moto, the Moto G LTE, things like that. All right, so it's powered on. Do you need to change the language to English, United States? That should be okay, I think. Yeah, there we go, you can start. Uh, no Google account, not now, next, more, remind me later, skip, skip, it's next, yep, sure, we'll call it that for now, and next, oh, there are a lot of stuff in here, I agree, but now finishing up setup all right so we are in and here is our Z816 um, 
basically looks like and feels like uh, an M8 in terms of software. We do have Blink Feed. We have a system um, update, uh, which we will do later on. Settings also has you know the full feature set, except of course is the HTC Mini Plus. I guess that's uh, big in the Asian markets. And um, if we go into our um, applications here, App Tray, uh, to have the startup mixture of apps. Of course, there's a TVBA, more Chinese-centric TV apps, some stocks, and then Weibo is installed. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in our SIM cards. We'll use this device for a little bit, take some video, some audio, um, combine that and give you a full review. So far, I do like the weight, though. It feels very light. I don't like the slippery back right now. It feels like it would slide off my hands, but um, that's, uh, that's not too bad. Take a look at the camera here for a second. And you can see the different camera modes. Switch to selfie, that front-facing camera. There we go. So you can see me right there. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll take some photos. We'll add all of that together and we'll give you our full review. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing for the HTC Desire 816. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Oh, I forgot to mention the price. Uh, you can get it for around four, between four, um, 380 to 450, uh, depending on if you're getting the 3G or the LTE versions of this device. Um, and you can find it on either Amazon or eBay um, right now, or even places like uh, Negril Electronics um, altogether. So any questions, any comments, guys, uh, let me know. Otherwise, uh, do like this video, share this video, and favorite this video. And this is Thunder E saying thank you, and always enjoy your entertainment.